Let's run through problem 7 to a variable versus absorption costing and we're covering multiple months. You can see uh, this company we're looking at August and September. So details about peak companies activities for the first two months in business are below. Uh, and we can see some inventory and production information, units produced, units sold, sales price. Uh, we got manufacturing cost. In the previous question, we had material, labor, and variable over it all spread out. Here, we've just combined them into one line. Makes our life a little bit easier, honestly. Uh, we got fixed overhead costs, and we got some selling and admin cost info. It says calculate the cost per unit under variable costing and absorption costing. Remember, the cost per unit is the production cost per unit. The selling cost isn't counted as part of the product's cost. So under variable costing, the variable cost per unit is the material, the labor, which we assume are variable, and the variable over it. So this is the number. So under variable costing, we, they just gave us the answer. It's $20. And you can see the costs are the same both months. If we had changed them, and certainly in a real company, it will vary over time. It just makes the question more complicated. And, and uh, you know, in an intro class, we don't want to overcomplicate matters. But if you move on and do intermediate advanced accounting, you might have to tackle that situation. Here, they've, they've kept it easy. You can see the costs are just consistent from one month to the next. Next. Uh, under absorption costing, absorption just means it's absorbing the fixed overhead costs as well. All the manufacturing costs, including fixed costs, become part of the cost of the product. And what is our uh, fixed overhead here? Well, it's $100,000 to make 10,000 units. We're making 10,000 units both years. So it's 10 extra dollars, right? $10 per unit in fixed overhead. So it's not just the 20 that are involved in variable costing, it's 30 because we got 10 extra dollars worth of fixed costs. So that's our cost per unit. What's the ending inventory for August under variable costing and absorption costing? Well, the units are pretty easy. We start with zero units, we produce 10,000, we sell 9,000, so zero plus 10 minus nine means we end up with a thousand units. What's the value of a thousand units under variable costing, it's $20,000, right? A thousand times 20, it's worth $20,000 under variable costing. Under absorption costing, it's worth $30,000. It's the same units, it's just different values. And of course, when we go to prepare our income statement, we'll see that their profits are gonna be $10,000 different because absorption costing is including 10 extra thousand dollars in its inventory value where variable costing isn't including it there it's saying no that's a cost and it's expensing it on the income statement so it's, it's reducing the profit and we'll see that when we go to part d uh part c though what's the ending value of inventory in september under variable and absorption costing okay well we'll do the same thing in september though we start with a thousand units right because we we had a thousand left over we add the ten thousand we make minus ten two fifty and we end up with seven hundred and fifty dollars of inventory so what's the value of that inventory under variable costing 750 times 20 it's $15,000 worth of inventory under variable and 750 times 30 is 22,500 under fixed costing. Okay, so there we've, you know, this is all table setting stuff. Let's get to the meat of the matter. Let's do uh, income statements. So it wants us to do for each month, an income statement under variable and then under absorption costing. So uh, variable, and this is going to be for August and September. And a variable income statement looks like this. Sales minus variable expenses equals contribution margin minus fixed expenses equals operating income. But in this case, we're assuming no taxes. So operating income and net income will be basically one and the same. Uh, for uh, absorption costing, what does an income statement look like there? It's sales minus COGS equals gross profit minus selling and admin expenses equals again operating income but assuming no taxes net income. Um, so I'll just put the headings August and September up there. So 
Now we just solve, right? So what were our sales for August? Well, 10,000 units at 50 bucks a unit. That's 500,000, or sorry, <laughs> I almost screwed it up. 10,000 was what we produced. 9,000 is what we sold. 9,000 times 50 is uh, 450,000. I'm feeling shaky now. Let me do the math in the calculator. 9,000 times 50, yeah, 450,000. Our variable expenses, um, we're doing variable costing. So it's 20 and six, it's 26. So 26 times uh, 9,000, 234,000. Sales minus variable expenses is a contribution margin, 450 minus 234, $216,000. Our fixed expenses are the big ones, 150. 150,000 leaves us a profit of 66 thousand dollars let's do september we sold sold 10 to 50 at 50 bucks a piece five one two five hundred our variable expenses again 10 to 50 times the variable cost per unit which is 20 and six so times 26 uh two six six five hundred 512,500 minus 266,500 is 246,000. This is still 150. You can see it's just right here, 150. So 246 minus 150 is 96,000 bucks. Okay, so we're setting the table, hopefully beautifully. Let's do the same thing for absorption costing. Our sales, uh, same numbers, 450 and 512 500 and same math right just the number of units sold 9000 times the price and then 10250 times the price our cost of goods sold it's the number of units sold times the absorption cost and cost of goods 30 so 9000 times 30 10250 times 30 9000 times 30 is 270000 and uh 10250 times 30 307 500 sales minus cogs of course is gross profit 450 minus 270 180,000 here 512 500 minus 307 500 205,000 here selling and admin expenses so that's these ones uh six dollars a unit times 9,000 units sold Six times 9,000 is 54,000 plus 50, so it's 104,000. 180 minus 104, what is that? 76 thousand dollars. And on this side, it's uh, six dollars a unit. We sold 102,500, so six times 102,500, 650. Oh, that can't be right. <laughs> uh, six times 10250 sorry 10250 is like that number is way too high 61500 that makes more sense plus 50000 is well, let's do it in the calculator uh 111500 111500 that makes a lot more sense 205000 minus 111500 93500 okay um so we've solved but the final question says like What's going on here? Which method has higher net income in August? Well, 66,000 compared to 76,000, we would say for part E, uh, for August, absorption, uh, for, uh, I'll just put August, absorption is higher by $10,000, right? And a question I'd like to know is why? And we, we discussed this earlier. We said, well, under variable costing, our ending inventory is 20. Under absorption, it's 30. Under variable costing, we had $10,000 of extra expenses that in absorption costing were kept in ending inventory. So that's what's happening here. Now, what's happening in September? Uh, so, so that's sort of my answer for August. Which method has higher net income in September? Well, it's actually variable costing by 2,500, is that right? September, variable is higher by 
And uh, yeah, I think the math is 2,500. Well, what's going on here? And the answer is, well, in September, my inventory actually shrinks by 250 units, right? So in August, inventory went up by a thousand units. We said, well, it went up by a thousand. And so therefore, or times 10 rather, our fixed uh, cost per unit is $10 per unit. So times 10 means that absorption looks $10,000 better because 10,000 extra dollars sitting in any inventory. In uh, September, our inventory went down by 250. We sold more than we produced by 250 and 250 times 10 is 2,500 and that makes absorption look 2,500 worse. So that's what's happening in August more um when we have more inventory we have more fixed costs in our inventory not on the income statement that's why they're different in september those fixed costs come out of our inventory and appear on the income statement making absorption costing look worse so there we go we've solved seven to eight as always i'm thrilled that you're watching and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and bye bye the next video in our series is right up here and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series that's the one down below